Hi, I'm Ben, and today's video is a bit different from what I usually do, but I'm excited about it because candy. Who wouldn't be excited about candy, right? About a year ago, at Playlist Live 2013 in Orlando, I was in the hotel room of a friend, and I met this guy named Blake. Big, very tall man, very nice guy. Uh, we were in a mutual friend's hotel room, got introduced, uh, there were a bunch of people there, we're all hanging out, uh, as you do at Playlist Live. We got to talking, talked for a good while, exchanged contact information, followed each other on Twitter, as you also usually do at Playlist Live, and then went our separate ways. A few months later, he contacted me and he said, hey, I know that you have viewers of videos and I know that those viewers probably like candy, and I know you probably like candy. How would you like to review my new service? And I was like, I love candy. I'll totally take some candy. Let's review this service. What is this service called? Tell me all of your information. And so here we are. I'm making a video telling you guys about his new service called Bow Candy. Uh, he sent me a package of stuff that I can eat on camera. Why wouldn't I want to do this, right? Uh, and basically, the idea behind this company, Bow Candy, is he wanted to get international candies from all around the world for cheap prices. But he was finding that if you buy, you know, just a few of these candies from China or from, you know, Japan, or from Greenland or wherever, that it was expensive to buy just a few of them, but he could buy them in bulk and get them at a discounted rate. So uh, he started buying all these candies in bulk and now distributes them through bowcandy.com. It's really cool. You get a monthly subscription. Uh, you get all of these candies from all around the world that they handpick and, you know, taste test and find out if they're good or not. Uh, and then every month comes to your door a package of really cool candies from around the world. They come in a mailer kind of like this, and uh, I put them in my own little sandwich baggie just for safety keeping, but uh, they come in a mailer like that, and uh, they also have a paper inside that tells you all about all of the candies from around the world, and obviously you're not going to get the same ones that I got, because this is from like a month ago, but um, you're going to get all different candies from different parts of the world, which is really, really cool, I think. So we're going to go through, eat a bunch of candy from around the world that I've never had or heard of, and uh, we're going to see how it is, okay? The first one on this list, and I really apologize if I'm saying any of these names wrong, because I've never heard of them, but the first one is from Mexico, and it's called Rayerindos? Rayerindos? I know when there's double L's that you pronounce it like a Y in English, but anyway, it's a Rayerindos. It says, savory hard candy with soft center. It doesn't look too intimidating. It looks pretty okay. It says, caramelo con relleno suave sabor tamarindo. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. It's like purple. See that? It's like purplish. Let's see. Mm. Oh. Oh. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I mean, the taste is okay. The taste is good. It's kind of weirdly sour, but it's like a Jolly Rancher that's a bit too long for your mouth, so it's really kind of hard to get in a comfortable position, you know? It's also got a weird sort of texture on my tongue. And like I said, it's a little too big for my mouth. That's what she said. But other than that, I mean, maybe it's crunchy, like, I wonder if I can break it in half. Hmm. Oh yeah, definitely broken it in half. Oh, okay. Once you break it down, it's a little easier to chew. Very, very sour though. Very sour. Wow. Oh. Whew. It was good. It was just... Wow, a lot of sour. Next on our list is called Amira Usi, and it's from Thailand. Uh, it says, a hard tamarind candy made with no corn syrup. That's kind of cool. And they look like this. So um, this hopefully isn't as sour as the last one, but we will see. Oh, ooh, it's kind of a cool color. Um, I don't know what tamarind is. A hard tamarind candy, but that's a really cool kind of color. It looks like a lozenge. Hmm. All right, well. That's got a different flavor. It tastes like, um, it tastes very natural, which is kind of nice. It tastes like natural, like, hard candy made with, like, honey or something. It tastes very, like, sweet and subtle. It's not annoyingly sour or anything that is unexpected. I actually like that. I could, hmm, I could see myself eating these pretty regularly if I were from Thailand. I like those ones, those were good. The next candies come to us from Germany, uh, which is kind of cool. They're called the Hischler Softy, and I've got four of them, a whole bunch of different uh, brightly colored candies. And they look like what we have in the United States called Airheads, um, and they kind of feel like that. They're called Softy, so you know, they're soft. What are the, what are the flavor names? I don't know, 
how to speak German, so I don't know what the flavor would be. I don't think it has any sort of flavor listing on here, from what I can tell, but it does say Kinder Kabonbon, which is kind of a cool word. I like that. Kinder Kabonbon. So let's try the pink one, shall we? Ooh, wow, not sealed or anything. Oh, they're just like lightly wrapped. Oh, it looks like gum. You see that? It looks like a stick of gum. Weird. All right. Tastes pretty good. Tastes like it would be a strawberry or something. Very much so like an airhead. Mm -hmm. Only not like obsessively artificially flavored. What about the yellow one? Let's see. Mm, Kinder Cow Bon Bon. I love that. I want, I want that to be my screen name on some sort of social network. Or a band name. Mmm. Oh. Yeah. Kind of the same overall flavor, but lemony. I could see they go on like a fruit theme. You know? What about the green? Green's my favorite color. I'm expecting this to be like apple or something. Another gum looking. They're all the same color though. Despite the wrapper, they're all the same sort of gum looking weird toffee thing. Or taffy. I should say not toffee. Same generic weird sort of flavor, but kind of tastes like a lime. Yeah, it's not an apple, it's a lime. What does that make the blue one? In, in Airhead language, blue is the uh, the mystery flavor, right? Or is that white in Airhead? I don't know what blue is. Blue raspberry, maybe? Well, we'll find out. Um, Kinder Cow Bon Bon. It's kind of like blueberry, I guess. I don't know. Weird. I mean, they all kind of taste artificial, but not as artificial as the Airheads in the U.S., but still, can't really... Uh, put a flavor on the blue one. I don't know what the blue one is. <laughs> All right, fourth on my list is from the United States, which isn't too uh, exotic unless you're not from the United States. And they are called Sour Balls. And it says good old Sour Balls made right here in the US of A. And I have had Sour Balls many, many, many a time, uh, all with terrible, horrible results. I hate sour. Sour is just like not one of my favorite things, but I'm gonna take the green one because green is my favorite color. All these ones I'm just gonna leave, one just fell on the ground, all of these ones I'm just gonna leave over there. But the green one, I will pop, just for the amusement of my viewers. Let's see. Hmm, it looks like a little planet with like, it's a little Saturn with a ring around it, see? Hmm. You know those lollipops that you get from the bank? That you like, you put in your mouth and you know instantly that weird sort of, again, artificial flavor. It tastes exactly like a bank lollipop, a lollipop from my local bank. Do you have that where you're from? If you're not from the United States, do you have that? Like, do you go to the bank and make a deposit or a withdrawal and they have lollipops for kids? Maybe it's just a fat American thing, I don't know. Now, surprisingly, these are not as sour as I was expecting them to be. The uh, Rayarinos, Rayarinos, these ones, these were way sourer. Sourer? More sour? I can't talk today. That was much more sour to me, um, which is interesting because these are like, you know, the U.S. is known for being like wild and crazy with all their flavors. So I would expect the United States to have sour, sourer candy. <laughs> Anywho, moving on to the country of China, which is really exciting for me because I haven't had many things from China or uh, been there. So this one is called Classic Guava and it says, my personal favorite, I'm assuming this is Blake writing this, uh, my personal favorite, delicious guava flavored candies popular throughout all of South Asia, which is kind of neat. Mm, break it open. Ooh, it's so tiny. It's like, a very small version of the United States Sour Ball that I just had. But these are made from guava, which is really cool. They're called classic guava. All right, guava fruit candy. Mmm. I like these ones. These ones are actually really good. They're, um, they're like a natural sour, which is really nice. It makes me wish that I had these in America. Like, I would totally eat these. And I'm not a big candy person, but I'm feeling the natural stuff. Like the one from Thailand, the Amira Usi, the tamarind candy, tamarind's a fruit, I believe, and the guava candy. Those are my two favorites so far. You go, China. You got some nice candies. Alrighty, and our last candy of the video, or the last one of the pack of six, is from the United Kingdom, and it is called Aero Bars. They look like this. Uh, they are a sweet milk chocolate bar filled with tiny air bubbles to accentuate texture and taste. That's interesting. I think Hershey's here in America came out with a um, Hershey's air-filled candy. I just find it really funny when companies use air as a marketing ploy, like a marketing angle, because including air in your product means there's less product that you're giving the person, right? I'm wondering, like, having air in my candy bar, is that gonna make me, like, really excited about it? Or, like, 
is it going to suck? So mine's kind of falling apart a little bit, but mm, let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, weird. It looks very like crumbly, right? It looks like it's very dry. It's not. It's just all of the air pockets. That's crazy. Look at this texture. If you can see this, look at that texture. All the little air pockets and air bubbles, when you put them into your mouth, it like melts real quick. Ow. It melts really quickly and just, mmm. That's really nice. Okay, I'm sold. You can put air in my candy bars if you want to. Mm hmm. Very good. It comes kind of like a Hershey bar here in the US uh, in that it's in <laughs> smushed, but it's in uh, multiple little quadrants that you can break off so you can like share aero bar pieces with people. So anyway, now that I've had all of those fun candies, you're probably wondering how you can get some yourself because those were actually really delicious. Um, so the website is bowcandy.com, B-O-C-A-N-D-Y.com, and you go there and you can sign up for a three month or a six month membership, or you can just do a recurring one. The three months is 40 bucks, the six months is 75 bucks, and then the recurring is uh, six bucks for the first month, which is $9 regularly, and then uh, $3 shipping, which is just really cool. But when you buy the other plans, like the three or the six month, it includes the shipping. You don't have to pay for it to come from wherever in the world it's coming from. Uh, on the little slip that he included here, it says, By using Bow Candy, you saved $30 on international shipping. That is crazy. That's really good savings. I love saving money, and I love candy, so it seems like a no-brainer, right? Like I said, if you want to find out more, go to bowcandy.com. Uh, I haven't been paid to do any of this stuff. Uh, I'm just helping out a friend. Obviously, I was paid with candy, but that's not really payment. So uh, just full disclosure, I'm not getting anything to tell you guys to go there. I'm not getting any sort of kickback or money. Uh, I just really like the idea, and I want to help out my friend, and I know that you guys probably like candy, so... It's a win-win for everyone, right? And I think that is everything. I don't have much else to talk about. Um, I've got a bunch of videos that are coming your way within the next, like, week to two. And, uh, yeah, so I guess I'll see you then. All right, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.